Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited about today's video because I'm gonna inform you about new indie perfume house from Russia that is called Is Kiss for Fun. And oh my gosh, I have been obsessed with these fragrances for a few months now. And in this video, I will review everything for you. So this is gonna be kind of like a full house overview. And I find, guys, that you'll be as blown away as I was by them. So I'm excited for you to learn about this house and make sure to check out the official website. I will leave a link underneath this one in the description box. And that's been mentioned, let's get started. So firstly, the owner and the nose behind this house is Marina Volkova and she's a super lovely lady, oh my god, we started chatting with her and she wanted to send me some samples for a review and I was like super happy. But honestly, I didn't expect that I will fall in love with the whole line because sometimes when you see a new house, you're like excited, you like the notes, but you don't expect that you love everything. But that is actually what happened with me and her perfumes. And I was super glad that I just came across her house. I discovered it and, you know, I'm really good in that. Anyway, let's talk about my most favorite perfume that is called Bisteria. This is how the flacon looks like. I like this... Um, Swarovski crystals. It looks like magic in the bottle. And this is, my friends, the most beautiful Visteria I have ever smelled. And unfortunately, Visteria is not that popular in the perfumery. I don't know why, but I'm super happy that Marina created a perfume that is based on Visteria Blossom because when this cheerio is blooming, it has the most heady floral scent that is quite intoxicating and so does smell this fragrance. But when you actually spray it, it has some freshness in the opening, so it is not as heady as you might think now, but then it just changes and gets really essential. And actually, it reminds me of the most special day in my life, kind of like a wedding, when I am just um, walking in this beautifully decorated room, there are so many different floral bouquets on the tables, and then I open the window to the balcony and I breathe in this fresh but very floral air because the garden has been in the sunshine for a long time, so florals are so like strong. You know, this is how it smells. It has uh, this beautiful Visteria blossom that is fresh, but at the same time it is just so, so bright and real. And then it is supported by Helitrop that is more powdery and amazing exotic ylang ylang that is super sexy. So this perfume has beautiful sweetish musky base because of benzene and I really love it and I just find that this is such an intense powdery floral perfume that definitely reminds me of standing underneath the blooming wisteria bush in the sunshine because I experience that and I can go back to that feeling when I'm wearing this perfume so I love it very much it is really long-lasting, it does perform nicely, even though it is not as overwhelming as I described it, but yeah, it is quite intoxicating. So if you're the fan of powdery floral fragrances, then this is the perfect house for you, because I am a sucker for powdery perfumes, and as I smelled Marina's Lies line, I was gone. I was like, oh gosh, this is the most beautiful thing ever. A lot of her fragrances are on the feminine side, but some of them are truly unisex. And let's move on to the next perfume that is called Avril, like April. And I'm the biggest fan of April. I've, I was born in April and I love spring. And as I tried out this perfume for the first time, I was not that impressed, I will tell you that. But then I played with it more and I totally discovered its beauty. So this perfume reminds me of an April morning when you wake up, then you go to the window and then like you can smell the air is so pure and so clear and almost like clean and you definitely notice that the air has that freshness um, of the rain. So you think, oh, it was raining in the night and then um, it actually changes a little bit. So 
it gets more floral and it has this beautiful lily of the wall that is so fresh that is not like soapy or something it is just fantastic youthful very spring like perfume when it is not that hot yet but still it is spring the winter is gone and it is just beautiful perfume that even reminds me of snowflakes that just melt on the sunshine just fantastic delicate fragrance and then tulip rouge is one of my absolute favorites oh gosh if you love powdery floral scents you need to try out this perfume because it will make you feel like you are spring yourself can you even imagine that feeling you are the spring you are the most romantic season ever actually as i got ready for this video i sprayed it and then my mom came back home from walking with my with our dog and she entered the house and she was like what smells so good and then i told her and she was like this is the best thing ever this is the perfume that will make you smell late spring time it smells of blooming lilac it is very powdery it is very floral it has some green sparkles in the opening that are not too loud they're very delicate they go away quite quickly and then it is just this fantastic warm late um, spring that just um, really like mellows into the summer and the transition is so so that you don't even notice it and uh, I mean like this is fantastic my mom told me that uh, we can smell spring in the autumn thanks to this perfume and this is spectacular feeling then let's move on to the next perfume that is called Narcissus and guys I love Narcissus so much and I was expecting this perfume to smell like them but it is not like that it smells like a very fragile, lonely narcissist lost in a lot of green herbs. It smells so interesting. Firstly, it is very mossy and green and kind of aquatic, which is quite interesting. But then you discover that floral element that is hidden quite interestingly. And uh, it almost has a, like an earthy freshness to it so this is the most unisex uh, floral fragrance of her line and i love it very much because it, it is kind of like chameleon it changes a little bit it is definitely very interesting and i love to wear it when it is rainy because of that slightly aquatic mossy vibe it is damn good it is very very good and it is like spring or autumn perfume perfect in between between the season type of a scent then i have this tiny little vial unfortunately i don't have a lot of it but it is so beautiful it is called Alete papillon and it definitely smells like those beautiful small little butterflies that are just flying in the garden from one flower to another it smells of very soft linden blossom with some citruses green notes it is so fun playful and just effortless and quite um, transparent too even though it has some depth to it so it is a beautiful perfume i can't really tell you how it performs because you know the application is not the most accurate with that vial but i love it i love it for sure then guys i need to tell you about this perfume because it is the best mandarin i uh, smelled in a um, few years it is called mandarin at herbs at herbs basically mandarin on the herbs or something and i was really impressed by it i sprayed it and it was like the most optimistic powerful sunny orangey note it was so fun and it made me feel like i'm drinking this citrusy cocktail that never turns warm that is always very refreshing and just like citrusy and energizing i mean like this is a very beautiful unisex citrusy perfume that is perfect for any occasion just very nice and the projection is also good and the longevity is good which is not always the case with citrusy perfume so i even messaged marina and told her how much i loved it Oh my god, I need to tell you about this fragrance that is the newest release. It's called Aprila and it is about Linden Blossom. Now, I told you about um, Alle de Papillon with Linden Blossom, but that one is definitely more of a, like a favorite of mine. 
This perfume is daring and foolish. I'll tell you why I talk about it like that. This is because, guys, firstly, it smells like this intoxicating linden blossom, sweet, um, beautiful, aromatic scent that you get when you are walking through this valley of uh, linden trees and uh, it is super sunny, it is hot outside, you're like, oh, it is so hot, and then you get this beautiful, fresh, but at the same time, slightly heavy scent of this floral notes, but then it really changes on my skin, it gets so spicy, and you know that I'm not the biggest fan of spices, and Marina told me there are no spices, there are actually some resinous or balmy notes, I believe, and they work on me like spices, and some kind of like daring spices, like pinch you, and then you like turn to see who that wa was, and they are like smiling in your face, being so daring. This is kind of like the feeling that I get with this perfume. Not really my favorite, but sometimes it's really nice, especially in the autumn, because it's like this yellow floral scent, you know what I mean? Just perfect, <laughs> um, perfect matching color for that season. Now there is this perfume that is called Frey Sauvage. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It should be like this for a strawberry and to me basically it smells like very clean skin after the shower. I mean, I can see it is very messy feeling, just very easy to wear, just kind of like that perfume that you can wear to the office, very unisex, lovely, but not just my obsession. And then there is something new that is coming soon, a rosy perfume, also powdery, also sweet, very playful, jammy, um, young rose that is not afraid to be different and just to be whoa, it's just like that, you know, it's, it's a nice one, but it is not released yet, so I'm looking forward to it. And then I have also two more unreleased perfumes, which I'm obsessed with, I'm dying about them, they're so good. First of all, there is this Luna scent, and it is fantastic. Marina told me that she wanted to work on the accord based around Ylang Ylang, Vanilla and Wormwood, and firstly, it just, it is so crispy and green and sharp, and there is this delicate vanilla that is not confident at all, that tries to say something, but just green notes, they are just like too loud and like, no, be quiet. And the vanilla is like, okay. But then it turns floral and it gets into this vibe of this whole line and then in the dried on that vanilla. Oh, stunning. Not a gourmand, but vanilla perfume. And then Sole. Sole is my nighttime addiction. It is just this super sexy, sensual, warm, cozy perfume with some balms, with some resins, with some gourmand notes, with some deliciousness to it. And Marina told me there is leather. And if there is leather, this is the best and most comfortable leather for me personally. It just has that oriental vibe going on without being too Middle Eastern. So if you enjoy that sweetness, with the kind of like oriental touch, then stay tuned for Sole because three last perfumes that I mentioned they are not released yet, and once they are, I will update you guys. And that basically completes this uh, overview. I hope that you enjoyed and I intrigued and inspired you to try out this line because I need to tell you something. You will understand why I complain about so many designer perfumes lately once you smell this line, because you'll understand how real flowers smell. You'll see the quality. I mean, like, she pays so much attention to every single detail. She works on her creations all the time. Um, and I, 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 I smell that quality, I smell that purity and that very authentic smell of ingredients, perfectly, like, masterfully balanced together. These are very expensive smelling perfumes. I find nowadays even niche perfumes don't smell like this ones. Like, this is a brand that definitely um, needs to be explored, and I hope that more reviewers will talk about uh, Marina's perfumes, because they are truly fascinating, and they will make you feel so beautiful, one of a kind. They are just a and I'm obsessed with them, as you can surely tell. And by the way, I have a full house overview also in Russian, so make sure to check out that video. I will leave it on the screen and also link underneath this one, as well as the official link to this website, where you can purchase samples, trial sprays, or these cute bottles, because, I mean, like, this is definitely something that will wow you and that will kind of, like, make your heart beat faster, because Honestly, I was wearing tulip rouge today, okay? And I was like, 
I would love for this for a few and rarely I get that feeling as strongly as I get it with the Esquisse Parfum because these perfumes, uh, I mean, these are perfumes. And that's been said that completes this video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it and if so, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment which perfume sounded most interesting to you and why. And that's all. Stay tuned, smell good and we'll see each other in Maxwell really soon.